welcome my friends to a new episode of TOEFL ITB Insider. And in this episode, we're going to talk about um, a new skill that is needed for answering uh, the structure and written expression section. Right. And this actually skill is called objects of prepositions. So let's talk first about objects of preposition. Let's try to define them. What do we mean by objects or prepositions? And objects of prepositions, my, my friends, are either nouns or pronouns. Um, and these are the nouns and pronouns that come after a preposition. For example, in the morning. Now, the morning is an object of the preposition in. Uh, when you say um, by car, now car is the object of the preposition by. Where when you say, for example, on the floor, now the floor uh, is the object of the preposition um, on, and, and it goes like that. Right, so, so let's see, my friends, how questions on um, objects of prepositions would appear in the exam. Let's see that. And we've got here... Um, question number one, and, and it says, it's as you see, it's an MCQ, a multiple choice question. With his wife, three kids, a cat and a goldfish lived in Florence. Now we need to analyze again this sentence. With his wife, three kids, a cat and a goldfish lived in Florence. Now we have with, and we know that with is a preposition. And as long as it is a preposition, it means that whatever comes after it is an object of that preposition. So we have his wife, that's a noun, object of the preposition, three kids, object of the preposition, a cat, object of the preposition, and a goldfish, object of the preposition. Now, there is a rule of thumb that objects or prepositions can never be subjects which means that we're looking for a subject in this sentence. Why? Because look at this, lived is the verb. Now we're missing a subject. Someone might say shady, but we've got his wife, three kids, a cat and a goldfish, and I'd say, because they are objects of the preposition with. So now let's go and choose. Is it, is it going to be has? Has? No, we don't need a verb. We need a subject. Has is a verb. Is it have? It's the same idea. Have is a verb. We don't need a verb. What about Sam? Oh, yes, yeah, Sam. That can be a subject because that's a name of a person. So we can say with his wife, three kids, a cat, and a goldfish, Sam lived in Florence. Yes, that can be a good answer. But when, no, because that, that's kind of a connector. We don't need a connector. We need a subject. Now, another example. Now, let's read this sentence that we see here on the screen. And it says, in the last minute before totality, could see the moon's dark shadow advancing from the north. Now, let's analyze it. In, that's a preposition. The last minute, that's an object of the preposition. Before, that's a preposition. Totality, that's an object of the preposition. So again, so in the last minute, the last minute, that's an object of the preposition in. Before totality, totality is an object of the preposition before. And then when we continue reading, we have could see, that's a verb, which means that this verb has no subject. So this sentence is wrong because it doesn't contain a subject. How do you know shady? It's because before is a preposition, totality is an object of it. In is a preposition, the last minute is an object of it. So we're looking for a subject. Now, uh, the accurate sentence would be, in the last minute before totality, we could see the moon's dark shadow advancing from the north. Now let's move to another sentence. Staying at a hotel with a spotty internet faced a lot of problems during Zoom meetings. One more time. Staying at a hotel with a spotty internet faced a lot of problems during Zoom meetings. Now, one by one. 
Staying at a hotel with a spotty internet faced a lot of problems during Zoom meetings. Can we say that staying faced a lot of problems during Zoom meetings? No, because staying is not a human being. Staying cannot attend Zoom meeting. Then there is a problem here that staying cannot be a subject because of its concept and because this would damage the semantic meaning of the sentence. Right, so... Can we say that a hotel with a spotty internet is a subject? No, we can't. Why? Because a hotel with a spotty internet is an object of the preposition at, which means that the verb faced is left alone without a subject, and which means that this is an incorrect sentence in English language. How can we make it correct? By adding a subject. Look at this. Staying at a hotel with a spotty internet the manager faced a lot of problems during Zoom meetings. So, my friends, in this episode, I talked about the second skill needed um, in the structure and written expression section in a TOEFL ITP, which is objects of prepositions. Thank you so much for watching, and um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you again in a coming episode. Bye-bye.